that there was a reason for all of his indigestion and bowel movement issues and things as a child? To me, I mean, it wasn't anything abnormal. You know, I went through a lot of the same things as my daughter. And, no, I... Okay. And to the degree that Mr. Miller has, you know, that he had migraines, how many migraines do you remember? Not a lot. Migraines are in my family. They're hereditary. I have them. And he... I didn't have them very often, maybe 10 in his, in his lifetime. Was there ever any medical recommendation for treatment? Not really. There's really not much you can do about them. Okay. Has Mr. Miller ever been diagnosed or described as lactose intolerant? Yes. Was there any reason given for the back spasms while skating? Um, it just, he was tall for his age, and it just, from the leaning over and skating, over. yeah. Regarding Mr. Bookout's report, did you have any ownership of the property at the time you asked him to do that report? No. Would you have been able to have him do any remediation to the house? Yeah, there would have been no reason to, um, since Graham no longer lived there. And you didn't own the property? No. Okay. And so what specifically did you ask him to do? I, from the first trial, Sherry admitted that there was black mold in the cabin. So I have to object to that as being it's hearsay. on record. Well, ma'am, hold on one sec. Being hearsay, and, uh, and I don't think it's accurate also. All right. All right, so let me do this. I'll sustain as a foundation. We'll see if there's a hearsay exception. If you lay a foundation. Okay. Your Honor, I'll withdraw that aspect of this question until later testimony. All right, fine. Thank you. Um, what exactly did you ask him to do? I asked him to see if he detected mold in the cabin. Okay. And what did you ask him to do at your house? Same thing. What was the answer there? Um, I had no mold in my house. So asking him to find mold doesn't mean he finds mold. Right. It just means you like him he to look. I wanted him to look and to verify whether we had it or not. And if we did, then we would do something about it. Okay. No further questions, Your Honor. Thank you, Ms. Mellon. Judge, may I ask one question? I'm sorry. Uh, I usually don't allow recross unless something was outside the scope of cross. It's okay. I'll, I'll go along with that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Otherwise, it never ends. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, speaking of never ending, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you have the chance to ask this witness questions. You don't have to. It's purely optional. They have to be of your own making, uh, and you just write them down on one of the forms that should be in your... Um, jury notebook, if you don't have a form, you could just write it on a loose leaf piece of paper. Don't put your name on it, uh, and we know which case it is, so you don't have to identify it. You could take a minute to do that, and then I will just briefly review them. like we have three questions. Anyone else working? All right. Thank you, uh, Cam. Let me just review these, please.
All right, counsel, if you can approach briefly. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. All right, we have three jury questions. I've labeled them one for witness one, A, B, and C. You can just let me know if there's an objection. If there's no objection, you can just say so. If there's an objection, you can just state the objection. And then, like I said before, you guys can follow up within the scope of these questions if you would like. Oh, sorry. Ellen, any objections? I have no objections, Your Honor. Just kidding. I don't have any objections. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, counsel. These questions are all appropriate. So, ma'am, I will... Um, read a question, you can answer to the jury, then the lawyers will have a chance to follow up. Yes. So this is um, uh, question A. Uh, why were you treated in Florida if no exposure to mold? I grew up in St. Louis, which is a very moldy place, and my childhood home was flooded, and we had a cottage in Michigan that was full of mold. Um, when Graham got tested, they do a genetic test, and I had it. And I, ha I was not symptomatic, but I, if you don't take care of mold ex toxicity exposure, later on you can present with Parkinson's, ALS, other uh, neurological diseases. So I decided that prophylactically I was going to go through treatment to avoid that. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, question B, um, it, it's similar, so if you have something to add, you may. If not, not. Uh, were you being treated for the same diagnosis in the medical treatment facility in Florida as Mr. Miller? I was in the same facility. I figured as long as I was sitting with him every day, I might as well go through treatment too. All right, thank you. And then question C, uh, different topic. Was an air test done for mold? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ms. Mellon, you may inquire within the scope of those questions, please. I have no follow-up for that, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Skinner. Uh, Ms. Lambert, the house you said that you grew up in that had a flooded basement, did your son live in that house? No, that was my childhood house. I understand, but no. maybe you didn't. That's all I have. Thank you. All right. Ms. Mellon, you're with us. You can have the last question if you would like. Oh, no, no questions for this witness, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Ms. Lambert. We appreciate it. You're excused and just kind of wash your head on the way out there.